Hi, thanks for checking out this video. So today I want to talk about a new product that Inertion's just released. Uh, it's for pre-order now. Uh, delivery is in about a month from now. So normally when you want to build your own electric skateboard, you go to the hobby store, you're going to buy most of your stuff from the hobby store and adapt it to make your electric skateboard work the way you need it. So one of the things that has been a challenge for building your own electric skateboard is your batteries. So um, normally most people with an electric skateboard that they're building at home use a LiPo battery. So just a standard LiPo battery that you buy from any hobby store. Um, LiPo, I've used them for you know quite a while. They're fine as a battery. The problem is when you go to put it all together on the deck. So what I'm going to do is go through some of the parts you would need if you used LiPo and then I'm going to show you a new product and hopefully you can see how it might make your life a little bit easier when you go to build your next electric skateboard. So let's have a look. What have we got here? So uh, wire strippers, a uh, big mess of heat shrink. You need generally different diameters of this. This is one variation, actually it's probably easier if I just tip all this out. Okay, get that out of there. Okay. So this is all the stuff you need to build your own electric skateboard using LiPos. So there's a lot of stuff here, right? So um, let's just go through it all. So a quality charger, this is a fast charger. Um, it, it's got a built-in AC uh, power, power plug here, so you just plug that into the wall. Many of them you have to charge off a car battery because they don't come with power points, which is crazy. Um, so the balance, balance lead there for, for balancing your battery. Now this will do a six cell LiPo battery um, and it just plugs into the charger there. Your six cell Batteries have the, the balance ports and the discharge cables there, so we've got two of them. And the reason I've got two here is because I'm comparing it with a battery which Inertion's just brought out, which is 10 cell. Uh, here we've got two 6 cell batteries, so to make it a fair comparison, you need to join two together. Uh, soldering iron and a stand. Uh, Bullet connectors, different size heat shrink. Uh, you need some good quality silicon wire. Uh, I've got a, a LCD display here for the voltage. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is once again the new product from Inertion has this built into it. Um, and here is a high amp on off switch. If you want to be able to turn your board on and off, you need to buy this thing separately. You, you can't do it with a LiPo. There's no on off switch here. So let's just quickly give you an idea of, of how you mock all this up on board. So, uh, well, where would you put that? Maybe, maybe like that. I don't know. They're pretty massive fat batteries, so you, you probably have to put them side by side. Um, so then you'd have to basically connect these, these up somehow running into the high amp switch here um, and then you, you'd need, you need to have a panel somewhere to mount all this stuff so the on off switch and your voltage meter you know some sort of I don't know a bit of aluminium or something or, or whatever case you've made for this that, that would have to mount on there um, and then you know, when you want to charge your board, you have to, well, you have to be able to connect these to the battery somehow and, and your discharge thing. Now, if you've ever tried to mount this on your case, it's really difficult. Um, so, yeah, and then you've got to solder all this together. So you need, well, solder, uh, some little tool to hold all the ends um, and hold your little 
bullet connectors and, and whatnot when you're soldering. And, you know, to, to do something like this, really it could take an hour or more of your time. You know, when you, when you get good at it and you're doing the same thing over and over, yeah, it's probably not that bad. But if you've never done this before and it's your first time, it could take you two or three hours just planning what you're going to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a, a mess as you can see. So let's get all this crap out of the way. one of it and it's it's not that cheap either like these these charges are fairly expensive the batteries are expensive these tools you know 20 30 bucks it all adds up okay so the idea here is to make building an electric skateboard really easy at home so we've created the space cell it's super streamlined, really flat, which is what you want below the deck. You don't want something sticking out because the skateboard only has a certain amount of clearance and you don't want to strike it on the ground when you're riding. So this pack has everything built in. The voltage display there, on off switch and your charging port. It's got one plug for charging, that's it. Your connector here goes straight to your speed controller, connects straight in. So as you can see, it's going to be a lot simpler mounting this onto your board. There is no soldering involved, everything is pre-built into the pack itself. All you need to do is work out how to physically attach it. That's it. It's called the Inertion Space Cell. Space is an acronym for its key features. S is, it's smart. It's a smart device because it has built-in circuitry that controls the power going into it when you charge and the output. What this means is your system's going to be protected by a smart circuitry. It cannot be overcharged or over discharged. Unlike with a LiPo, you can easily do both and ruin the battery completely. Uh, but just using it on your skateboard, running it, charging it, it's protecting itself, it's self-managing. So S for smart. P is powerful. It's got a lot of power in it. It might look really thin, but it's 270 watt hour. On a dual drive electric skateboard, you're gonna ride around for an hour and a half, no problems. It can output 60 amps at its peak, and that is more than enough for a correctly configured electric skateboard. Um, it's aerodynamic, A for aerodynamic. It's important when you build a skateboard to have a battery and a component layout which isn't going to be close to the ground, um, especially if you transition off gutters. Having something really slim and aerodynamic beneath the deck is, is what you want. It's got to be a major thing that you think about when you build your own electric skateboard. So, compact. It's got everything built into it. And it's such a neat little package here. All of the circuitry and stuff that's in it, the cells, are squeezed in. There's no room left there. When you're building with LiPos and separate components like the on-off switch, they've all got quite large wires coming out of them. You need space for all that wiring to fit together. Because you're physically building it with your hands on the deck, you need room to move in your enclosure. This is already done. It's already inside here. You don't have to fiddle around with wires and soldering. It's compact. It's all in there. Um, and finally, E for energy cell. That's what it is. So it's smart, powerful, aerodynamic compact energy cell and it's the only one of its kind for builders of electric skateboards so check it out now do your pre-order delivery in about 30 days thank you